Like, why am I always such an embarrassment? Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well today and happy Valentine's Day. Today, I've got a book haul for y'all from the last couple of months. I think the last time I updated you guys was back at the end of November. So I'm going to show you guys what I've gotten since then. It is Valentine's Day today, so it's been about two months and a half, something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't have them pulled out, so I'm kind of just going to be grabbing books randomly and yeah we'll see how that goes I, I don't think it'll go well but it's okay <laughs> the first book I want to show you guys was my book of the month February pick and no I'm not sponsored I just really like their service so please sponsor me because I get y'all like every month with add-ons too but anyways <laughs> my book of the month pick for this month was Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers and I've already started it today I've really been enjoying reading it. It definitely has a different tone than what I thought it would have, but I'm really enjoying it. So, pleasant surprise. It's basically about a girl, Grace, who just completed her PhD in astronomy. And to celebrate, she goes to Vegas and she gets married. And she doesn't know this girl's name when she wakes up. And we're just going to kind of see where that goes. Um, that's what the synopsis says. I don't want to look too much into spoilers. I'm currently reading it, so yeah, no, and this, this cover is beautiful. The only thing is it came a little bruised, but it's all right. It's all right. I'll forgive you, book of the month. I'll forgive you. This is just stunning. The colors are so beautiful. With book of the month, I always make sure to get an add-on. At first, I used to not, and then I like kicked myself and was like, why not because you get them for like ten dollars and they're like hardback new releases or like you can pick from any month Ooh. so yeah now i get add-ons every time and it's so exciting so the first add-on i got was the city we became by mk jemison and i haven't read an A.K. jemison book but i know i will love them because i've also got this trilogy back here that i'll show you in a second so this book is urban fantasy and i think it has to deal with like like cities being impersonated like they become people or like they, they're represented by a person and then i think there's a little dilemma with new york i'm not too sure i've heard really awesome things about this so i'm really excited to get to it my second add-on from this month's book of the month was the dating plan by sarah desai 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 i think desai um, and I also think this is just gorgeous, like the colors. Are you kidding me? I don't really know what this is about. Let me read real quick. Okay, it seems like it's a fake dating book. I mean, this that's pretty obvious. I've seen it around booktube. I thought the cover was cute, so I ordered it. So, I'm excited to get to that. I've, like, been wanting to read. I've kind of been reading, like, kind of contemporary YA romances slightly leaning towards that but i miss like a actual romance so i might pick this up later all right now let's go to the january book of the month box and the first one is outlaw by anna north or anna north i've heard really awesome things about this too i literally read the synopsis when the whole announcement came out and i was like this is what i need to order and I still haven't read it, but I'm hoping to get to it this month or maybe next month. It just seems so cool. It kind of has to deal with like, it's like a fictional feminist western. It sounds so cool. I'm really excited. And then my add-ons for January were An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, which I thought I was really going to like. And I got in about... 98 pages and I was enjoying it. It wasn't lack of enjoyment. I just thought I was gonna like it a little bit more So I've set it down right now because I've kind of been in a slump and I had heard this can get you out of a slump I think it was kind of pushing me further into it just because I didn't have the motivation to fully pick it on um, but I'm sure I'll go back to it because I am very intrigued I just like needed to set it down for a second but this basically has to deal with a girl in New York who sees like an alien on earth without her knowing and then her and her friend become like a viral sensation because they were like the first to spot it and kind of what happens it, like after that i'm still not really sure what happens after that because i didn't get that far in but i still do want to read it it's a beautiful cover 
and I'm still like excited to read it. So maybe I'll finish it this month. Who knows? Probably not. Girl, your hair's gone crazy. And then my second add-on for January was Writers and Lovers by Lily King. And I'm not fully sure what this follows. I think it follows like a 20 year old um, and her lovers. I'm not really sure. I think it's just like a 20 year old's life. And I am a sucker for like single, sad, lonely women literary fiction books. I don't know why I love them so much. I just do. And I think I'll really like this. And I think it's pretty, oh, it's black and pink, like the inside. Yeah, I don't know much more than that, except that a lot of people on booktube really like it. So we shall see. January was also my birthday month, so I got a couple birthday books. And the first one I'm going to be mentioning is Agua Viva by Clarice Lispector. And it's translated by Stefan Tobler. This is originally in Portuguese. And... I don't know what it's about. One of my best friends, Jenna, gifted it to me and we're gonna read it together. I don't know what this is about except that in the back it says that in philosophically, 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 out as a particularly magnificent, magnificent, Magnificent triumph. Oh my god. Second freaking language problems. Um, but yeah, it's like really short, but it seems pretty like dense. And I'm super excited. Change my world. Agua viva. Change it. Alright, and then I guess I'll show these. I don't really want to take them out of their spot, but my boy ooh. My boyfriend's mom got me these books for my birthday. All right, here's the box. It's like kind of bluish with black flowers and I think it's beautiful. I want to top like that. Okay, I don't think I can take out that one. Why am I struggling so much? All okay, right, there we go. And then this is a collection of the Bronte sisters, which I've never read a book by, but I've always been very interested in. And I really, really do tend to enjoy classics. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get to these. And like the covers are so beautiful. Like, oh, can we talk about that? And they're like, um, not leather, but cloth bound. Is that cloth? You, you know what material? Yeah. So this is Jane Eyre, Jane Eyrie, <laughs> Jane Eyrie by Charlotte Bronte. It's a fat baby and I'm so excited to get to it. The pages are so soft and I just think it's beautiful. I don't really know what it's about, so I'm not going to give you all summaries about these. I just know they're classics. And then, sorry, I'm struggling. Then this is like one of my favorite covers. And it's The Tenant of Wildfield Hall by Anne Bronte. And I think this will be the first one I read. I've heard, I think I've heard good things about this on BookTube. And yeah, I don't know what this is about, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm in the mood to read a classic. Yeah, I've been reading like lighter books lately, but I'm really in the mood to read something dark. Like dark. So I kind of want to read like a dark classic. And I've got a couple that I could go to. But yeah, next one from this box set is Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte. And again, I'm excited for this. I think this one will be the one I like the least just from what I've heard, but I'm still excited to get to it and it'll be a journey. And I'm just, oh, they're just so pretty. Like, I just wanna be in a coffee shop, hopefully when COVID's over and be like, I read, I read classics. Oh uh, yes, Withering Hearts by Emily Ponte. Yes, I love it very much. Why am I speaking in British? Now I've got like my favorite one cover wise. Oh, I think these colors are so beautiful. You can't really see it, but this is like a creamish color and then like a green. But it's basically Villette. 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 No, yet. Villette, Villette, Villette by Charlotte Bronte. <laughs> and again, I don't know what this is about, but it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. Now, I mentioned January was my birthday month. So my boyfriend got me. 
He Got Me From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And the second one, Kingdom A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. And if you guys know me, you know I loved these babies. Like, oh my god, I ate these up. Like, I finished this on the day this one came out. And I immediately bought it and read it. And they're big babies. I hadn't realized how big they were and how much I had read in like two weeks. Um, but... This was just great and I loved them and I just really wanted to have a physical copy of them. And when the third one comes out, I'm gonna have it. It's okay. When the third one comes out, I want to get a physical copy and I really wanna reread these. Also. All right, so some more for my birthday. I got This Is How You Lose the Time War by Max Gladstone and I'm all in Motar. I already talked about this in my channel, so I'm just gonna quickly talk about it. But it basically has to do with two agents who travel time and fall in love in this magical crazy timeline and then i also got magic lessons by alice hoffman um which is the prequel to practical magic and i haven't read practical magic but you don't really re need to read it to read this one and this my aunt got for me all all of these my aunt got for me i've read one alice hoffman book and i really loved it i think this takes place in period in times and it has the geckled is that the word heckled geckled i can't remember edges which i love i think they're gorgeous so i'm super excited to get to this and then my aunt also gave me Cersei by Madeline Miller for my birthday and it is a beautiful hardback edition and I'm so excited and this just has to do with like a retelling of Greek mythology. These are the books she got me and I love them. These I got for myself back in December and it's the Broken Earth trilogy by M.K. Jemisin. So we've got the fifth season, the Obelisk Gate. And the stone sky and these i ordered online and then this one i found on half price books for two dollars so that's why they're different sizes but i don't really care um i'm super excited to get to these i've heard amazing things and i really want to read nk jemison i really feel like i'll like her so we shall see now this month in february i read the whole entire saga series like i'm up to date so the first nine volumes and i loved it so much that I had to order the the condo compendium, um, which has all first nine of the volumes, and I freaking loved this, so I'm so excited to have this. It's heavy, it's nice quality, and I got it for just 30 bucks, which was insane. And yeah, I'm trying to get everyone to read this. Oh, I didn't talk about what it has to deal with. Mm, I don't really want to. I'm sure you know by now. All right, what else have I gotten since? What am I forgetting? Hmm. Oh, okay. For Christmas, my sister got me two books. The first one was Call Me By Your Name by Andrea Simon, and then The Night Circuit by Aaron Mongestern. Um, and I'm sure you know what Call Me By Your Name is about. It takes place in Italy, I believe, and two men kind of have an affair. And then the Night Circus, I don't really know what it's about except that it has really fantastical and flowering writing that I'm super excited. All right, and then my December book of the month pick was In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. And I really, really enjoyed this. I've already put up the wrap up, so go check out what I liked about it and my rating and all that. But this basically deals with like a Groundhog Day situation. And it was great for December. I really enjoyed it. And then my add-ons for December were The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett and then and Anxious People by Frederick Backman. This has to do with like a failed robbery attempt, I think, and he's like holding him hostage. I'm not too sure, but I really loved Frederick Backman's um, Baritone and I'm excited to read more of his writing. And then The Vanishing Half has to do with two sisters who take very different paths in life. Everyone loves this. I know you've heard about it probably. And then I also wanted to show you guys like a little bookish present I got for my birthday by one of my best friends, Jay-Z. Um, thank you, Jay-Z. I think this is so awesome and I've been using it ever since I got it. Put it together. You see this book? And you see this, right? We're gonna open it to the first page. 
like the title. Oh, I already did it on this. All right. Let's grab this one. So you see this book. You open it up to this page. Yeah, I'm gonna open it up to this page, the dating plan. And this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hold you like this because my finger's still messed up. All right, all right, all right. Slip it in there. Ow. <laughs> Struggling. Can you see? You can't really see. All right. Connor, can you come help me? Never mind. I'm an independent woman. All right. Kind of in the center. Eh. Not really, but too late. And then we press down and look. Oh, Jesus. This is not smooth at all. It says from the library of Patricia Cordero with like a little symbol. And I think this is such a cool birthday gift. And I'm so thankful for it. I really think, oh my God, I just think it's so cool. Like now anytime I lend someone a book or I gift someone a book, I can punch it and they can always remember. And yeah, I just think this is such a cool gift. And I had would have never thought of it. I didn't even know these were a thing. And now I'm freaking obsessed with branding my books. And then the other bookish thing gift that I wanted to show you guys was this poster my boyfriend got me from pop chart i believe but it basically has like women of letters and it's like a literary fiction classics scratch off so it's like all books written by women and like almost all the books from the bronte sisters that i showed you guys are on here and like jane austen is on here there's a bunch of really cool books so i'm thinking of making little challenge videos with this poster because i just think it's so cool and yeah, I think that's everything I've got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've read any of these, what you thought of them, if you want to read any of these. And yeah, I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day. Or if you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, then I hope not. I mean, I still hope you had a great day. So yeah, <laughs> um, bye guys. Oh God.